What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and oh my goodness, how the tables have turned. The number one seed, Boston Celtics, are now down 0-2 to the eighth seed, the Chicago Bulls. Now, a lot of people are asking, you know, G Myers, why do you think that that happened? Uh, do you think the Boston Celtics are that bad of a team? How could they be number one in the league? I mean, not in the league, but in the East. Um, it's a very, very simple answer to that. I'm not going to say that Isaiah Thomas's sister is completely to blame because he's played well, but that has affected him tremendously. Um, for you know, when you lose someone, especially uh, right now, it just depends on how it is. This is not a one game thing in football, like with Brett Favre when he played for his dad when he died and stuff like that. This is a series, so I do think that the Celtics can turn it around. But Robin Lopez is see, a lot of people are talking about Dwayne Wade and Butler. My eyes, it's all about Lopez. Lopez is yo, that dude is balling right now, and I'm telling you to listen if the Bulls are able to meet, um you know, meet the Cavaliers. I still take the Cavaliers to win, but it's not gonna be easy because they match up better against the Cavs than any other team in the East, in the Bulls in my opinion. Even with like, oh, people like, yo, the Wizards, I'm not really worried about all that stuff. I'm telling you right now, the, the way the Bulls are playing right now and you got the veteran leadership, you got Wade, I know he's old. I know he, you know, he just doinked a, a dunk the other day, but he knows how to win games in the situation. And Isaiah Thomas' situation is extremely, extremely important to the outcome of the series. And I want people to understand that. Do I think they have a shot to win? No, the Boston Celtics are done. They're not gonna win this series. It's gonna be a number eight seed moving on. That It's plain, plain and simple. But I don't want people to misconstrue what I'm trying to explain. The Celtics wouldn't have lost these games, in my opinion, if it wasn't so much attention on what happened to Isaiah Thomas's sister. It's a very, very dramatic thing. It, it, what, like, uh, it's, it's, yo, I don't know even know how I would be able to deal with that. Like, this is real stuff. Like, this is a grown man that's trying to hold back tears in front of the world. And he still went out there and balled in game one. They should have won that game. It didn't work out. Then they lose again, you know, uh, April 14th last night. It's a very, very tough thing that you're asking any individual, even though people are saying, yeah, you should be able to comp uh, compartmentalize. And all Listen, man, that's your little sister, man. And my little, if that happened to my little sister, like, I don't know if I could focus. I don't know if I could play the game. I, I don't even know if I would want to be anywhere near a basketball. I would just want to be anywhere else other than that, go to that scene. You know, some people, you know, oh, I could play through it. It depends on how close you are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, obviously, according to sources, he was close with his sister. That's a huge loss, man. That And now he's going to go back to be with his family uh, as of today, Wednesday, April 19, 2017. So we don't even know what's going to happen for game three. Isaiah Thomas doesn't play. It's completely over. When he does play, okay, it gives them a shot to win. But the Celtics, I, I'm going to tell you this right now. I do see them losing to the Bulls. Uh, I'm not. This is not. I know they're in Boston, but they're they're not the New England Patriots. There's no coming back in the Super Bowl. What they did to the Falcons. This is over. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and say that. I don't see them going on the road and getting a win in Game Three. So I see that it, it, the way I envision it, I think they're gonna be down 0-3, and then they may win one game, and then it's gonna it's gonna come back home, and they're gonna lose on their home floor. That's just the way the way that I see it. If they were supposed to win the game, but this is a very it's a delicate situation. Because you can't want this man to come out and play the way that he was playing before with that type of loss. At the end of the day, we're all human beings. It's going to affect us differently. But Isaiah Thomas, you can see in his face. He's not really... Bro, the dude's free throw... His free throw percentage has been so high. Game one, he was just miss, like he was missing him. He wasn't focused, bro. Same thing last night. Like, you, you're going to try your best to do whatever you can do. But it's very, very hard to overlook something like that like that's such a major part of an individual's life when a family member that they're close to especially when they're younger like bro you just in a car accident single car it, it's so just just pray that you never have to receive that call and we're asking this individual to do that as a boston celtic fan so i gotta go ahead and look i don't like giving passes for anything but this is a very very it's a devastating thing that happened to this young man and look it is what it is we gotta live through it. We gotta be strong and find a way to go through it. But we can't tell him how to go through it. And we have, to, you know what I'm saying? But on another note, this dude Butler, I, I don't know, Dwayne Wade is probably trying to, you know, boost his confidence saying after game one, he looked like LeBron James. There is no other LeBron James. So Dwayne Wade need to stop it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, he need to go fix his old knees and stop being able to dunk again. But I like what the Bulls are doing. I see them advancing, like I said prior. 
And I see I, they're going to go. They're probably going to meet the Cavaliers, number eight seed versus number two seed. And like I said, I take the Cavaliers, but I think the Cavaliers really need to start clicking because I think the Bulls took all their regular season games. So we'll see what happens with that. If you guys have any other questions or you want me to discuss any other topic, you know where to find me. G Myers World on Twitter, G Myers World on Instagram, G Myers World right here on YouTube. Until next time, one love.